Hello once again internet and welcome back to a not so daily internet vlog when I've got something to rant, rave or generally talk about. I'm sorry that I haven't vlogged for a while. Generally being, I mean the actual reason for it is because I've been working three days off in a row. No, three, not three days off in a row. I've been three days on in a row, which is 30 hours in three days. And I've been stressing, like, like majorly stressing about a lot of things and I didn't want to come on and do a vlog while I was angry because I'd say a few things which I shouldn't say and I'd blurt out a few things I shouldn't blurt out and I'd get angry at people that I don't need to get angry at you know right so I got a few things I want to talk about today now that I'm calm and in my right mind to do so number one is Recently, we had a EU referendum. I'm sure you know about that. And I'm sure a lot of people... I'm, I'm actually running out of battery power. So this might... This vlog might end abruptly. If it does, I'll get back to it. It's fine. Right, so... We've recently had an EU referendum. And... Um, we voted out. And I, I myself... Don't mind who cares or who knows. I voted in. I wanted to remain in the EU because of the amount of stuff that the EU have done for Wales to in, in, increase its trade and, you know, at least give it a stable economy. The things that the EU have done for us, it was worth staying in. Uh, apparently, a vast majority of Welsh people didn't think that, that it was uh, that it was enough that the EU was giving us all that. Um, tax tax relief and uh, I wanted to step out so apparently they want to pay more tax okay fair enough right so anyway I was annoyed at that I was annoyed at how some people would blindly walk into a, a vote without thinking about the consequences of their actions those that did you know that, that actually made an informed choice and still stepped out that's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm just annoyed at the people that have made a vote who didn't really think about the vote they were making. They just voted for the sake of voting. And other people, they didn't vote at all because they just couldn't be asked to look into why we should stay or remain. No, stay or leave. Um, which is fine. It just means that the economy is about to get drastically worse. Not now. Not now, not right now it's not. Right now everyone's going to think, oh, there was no consequences for our actions. Later down the line, they're not going to think that it's in any way connected with ste stepping out of the EU. It's just bad luck. No, it ain't. Every decision you make has an impact on the future. And that means that when the shit does hit the fan, it's going to be because we stepped out of the EU. Trust me. And I'll make sure that I point that out in every vlog when it happens. Okay, with that out the way, I've only got 10% power on my phone. I don't know how long it's going to be before it cuts out. But um, I can recharge anyways, it doesn't matter. Right, so, with that out of the way, um, there's something else I wanted to talk about. And that was that um, I don't know why I'm angry at all when somebody makes the observation that I'm overweight or fat or obese. Right? In any way, I don't know why I get angry when I hear the words. Because, let's be honest, it's not really an insult when it's just an observation. I mean, let's say, let's say I was only a few pounds overweight and they still called me fat. I'd understand being angry at that point because of all the work I would have done. But right now, I'm fat because I wish to be fat. If I want to lose weight, the ability is there for me to lose weight. And I don't see why every time I hear the word fat bastard or fat git or any other word associated with the word fat, why I get angry at it. So I've been talking to myself, I've been trying to work out why I would even feel anything towards someone saying it. You know? And, um... I, I myself can't logically work out a reason why I would get emotionally distraught from it. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think it's rude. It, it, obviously rude that someone would have the gall to, to even shout at it at a, at a complete stranger. Maybe that's why I'm angry. Because it's rude. And because it's not your, your place to point out my flaws. You know? Really. I mean, if I was to do it to him, let me think. The last person that called me fat... Um, um, he was rather gangly uh, didn't have much meat on him um, I'd say he was rather too tall probably got joint problems because of growing up too fast um, easy and polite um, which is not going to get him um, very far in life and I would assume that uh, that his mother and father have taught him to to ridicule other people um, or to put or to fat shame as, as it's for some reason commonly known as or, or to shame anyone I mean even a transvestite I'm sure he would I'm sure he is not a very tolerant person at all and um, and this being so uh, he's not going to get on in life he's probably only going to become a bricklayer or some kind of labourer and probably doesn't have um, a, a qualification to his name so that's pretty much my observations to him uh, I wonder if that would make him angry if I just pointed that out, you know? You know, all of those observations. In fact, he probably doesn't get much love from his mother or his father, to be honest. Probably does a lot of drugs. Yeah, I would assume he probably take, smokes a lot of marijuana as well, which probably fries his brain. Anyway, after that observation and after that long talk about the EU and why I don't understand or in any way in any way understand why I get angry at people calling me fat uh, see now it's like I said it's an observation I mean it's like saying hey you short git you know weird nice to talk that out though nice to talk that out and kind of relax a little bit because I'm on my day off and uh, I want to relax and just chill out which is what I've been doing all day all right so I've got something else I want to say and that is that I've noticed because we don't have anyone supervising us in work that my company has been getting away with giving me or my team really shitty shifts as a company I do love them uh, first source that is um, when it comes to my outsourced company not naming names I'm not allowed to I said first source because I love them and I'll just say that now, work for First Source, they're brilliant, right? So, okay, sponsor, <laughs> they pay me. Um, my outsource company, not naming names. Um, well, they're not, they're not very nice people, I'll be honest. They're not. They're out to make money, they don't care about us, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure my first source, first source is as well, but they're really nice people, and they look after you, and they understand that uh, their entire company is founded on the people that work there. If we didn't work there, they wouldn't have anything to sell. You know what I mean? So they look after us, and that's, that's decent. I like that. In fact, I think the fact that it is an outsourced company means that we get a lot more benefits than we would if we worked for the actual company itself. I'm happy where I work, just not entirely happy with the stuff that uh, the outsourced company that owns our contract at this point is doing. But at least I know that if, I, if we step out of that contract, that I'd be able to move to a different contract, and I would in a happy. So, that being said, there's nothing else I want to say on, the, on, on this, uh, other than the fact that I miss you guys. Um, I wish I could do this every day, but it's just not something that's uh, possible in my day and age, in my day and daily life. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, are well. And I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say goodbye before my battery runs out. And I can't seem to find the right key to open the door. Uh, I did use the right key. I'm sure I did at some point. Ah, there we go. Used that when it didn't work. That's weird. Uh, so thanks for watching. Give me some thumbs up love. Subscribe for more. Uh, share with your friends. Maybe I can do this full time if you did that. And I will see you guys next time. Now let's get on, get in before it really, really tips down. Because it's raining. <laughs>